Before we start with the In Out Settings tab, it is important to note that if you have not watched the first video in this series, the General Settings tab, you may want to do so now before proceeding. If you have watched the General Settings video, let's start setting up the inputs and outputs of your DSP amplifier. The In Out Settings tab starts with the Input Setup section at the top of the page. For this demonstration, we are working with a DSP 8130 amplifier. And in the input name section, you will see four pairs of stereo channel fields in orange where you can customize the names of the inputs for this amplifier, like MP3, CD, satellite, doorbell, etc. You have a 15 character limit for input names. Below the input name section, you will find the level trim decibel section. This gives you the ability to level out all your inputs so when you switch from input to input, the levels will be equal. This can eliminate any harsh transitions between sources with different output voltages. Select the pull down menu in each channel to adjust the level trim between plus or minus 6 dB in increments of 0.5 dB. In Output Setup section, below the Input Setup, you can set up the output settings of your amplifier. You may choose to label your outputs by speaker type or room name. Again, the orange fields will allow you to customize the names for your outputs. Next, the Stereo Mono section gives you the options of choosing stereo or mono for your channels. Choosing mono combines the right and left channel of your outputs. This is commonly used for subwoofers or if a discrete left and right channel is not preferred. Next is the DSP preset field for each channel. Included with your DSP series amplifier are 43 EQ presets which have been designed to maximize the performance of your Sonant speakers in a room with average acoustics. If the Sonance model you are using is not included, additional presets are available at Sonance.com for all current Sonance speaker models. DSP presets are customized to each Sonance speaker, taking into consideration common room acoustic characteristics to optimize the performance of your Sonance system. The DSP presets allow any channel on the amplifier to be used to drive a full range speaker or a subwoofer. Click on the pull down menu to select the Sonat speaker model you have connected to your DSP amplifier's output. If the amplifier is connected to an audio source and speakers, you will be able to hear the DSP preset changes in real time. Below the DSP presets are output groups. This option gives you the ability to assign each of the channels to its own unique group. When sending IP or IR commands to the DSP amplifiers, you send the IP and IR commands to an output group, not to a specific channel. This allows multiple channels to be controlled at the same time and minimizes the number of commands required to control your amplifier. Bridge mode is the final setting in the output setup section. Clicking this button allows you to select on or off for bridging the selected channel pairs. When bridge mode is selected, the two channels will be automatically grouped together. In the output source section, you will designate which input will be directed to which output and set output effects. In the source one field, you can click and select from the sources you created in the previous input setup section above. Keep in mind that if your outputs are grouped, the source's left and right channels will default to that group. Source 2 field acts the same way as Source 1. Source 2 fields are optional inputs you may want to come into Source 1, like a door chime or PA system. Just like Source 1, the inputs for Source 2 must be set up in the Input Setup section in order to be available for this section. The final setting in the output source is Mode Source 2. This pull down menu lets you choose how you want Source 2 to come through Source 1.
Your options are off, source 2 will not play, mix, source 2 will mix with source 1 until source 2 is complete, and mute. Source 1 will mute while source 2 plays through to completion. Please note that there is no ramping of source 1 or 2. The sources will play the selected level trims applied in the input setup section at the top of the page. In this last section of the in-out settings, you will set the output volume parameters for your DSP amplifier. Starting with the output volume, this pull-down menu lets you select the dB levels from negative 70 to 12 for your outputs. Keep in mind, this setting will affect all outputs in a group. The next setting is the turn on volume. In the pull down menu, your options are the same as above. Again, if your outputs are grouped together, the turn on volume level will affect all outputs in the group. If the volume level will be controlled by an external control system, always set the turn on volume to match the output volume. In the case of a power outage, this will ensure the system will always come back on at the same volume level. The maximum volume selection lets you set the loudest level for the output. This feature is great for kids' rooms or outdoor areas where high volume levels are not desired. The maximum volume settings works independent of groups but will affect the volume limits you set for both turn on volume and output volume. For example, if you select 7 for maximum value, it will change turn on volume and output volume to 7 if their value was set to a level higher than 7. Gain offset allows you to offset the volume of different outputs. A good use for this feature would be maintaining the levels between satellite speakers and subwoofers. If you prefer a punchier bass in your music, and you want that bass to stay consistent when you raise the volume overall in a space, offsetting the channel containing the subwoofer a few points above the others will ensure consistency of that level. Gain offset is available from minus 6 to 6 dB. The final setting in output volume is the mute setting. This toggle action button allows to mute an output. Muting an output will affect the entire group. So that completes the in-out settings tab of the Sonarc software and the input outing settings on your DSP amplifier.